Hey guys, it's MacHeads101, and right now I have SmackBook running, and as you can see, if I hit my um, side of my laptop, I can switch between the spaces, and um, this is a video response to my own video, so um, first watch that, and then watch this, because then you're not going to know what the hell I'm talking about in this. Okay, so basically, um, in my last video, I showed you how to get SmackBook working, but you need Terminal always running for it to work, because what I mean is right now, SmackBook running, and terminals open. And if I want to um, make, if I close it, then um, it no longer works. So I have to quit um, virtual desktops, um, which um, so quit. And you're not gonna know anything I'm doing unless you watch that video first. So really, don't watch this unless you watch that first. And it's a video response, so you can see the link right under it. So the Smack Book um, folder that we have before, okay. Basically, you need to open up Terminal because to make this all work, you need Terminal. But don't worry because you're not gonna have Terminal open all the time. Just we're gonna make a Terminal application. So first, we're gonna have to CD to our desktop. So just type CD space desktop for that to work, and then you're gonna say um to to say Nano space and then. Um, whatever you want to call your application, so I'm going to call mine SmackBook, and then press enter. Cause so, so now you're brought into Nano. So this is where you're going to write the code for your application. And writing the code for this is actually really really easy. First line is going to be kill. Yeah, kill all ter. You know, that way um, terminal's not open when we do this. Okay, ne next. We're gonna want to use the SmackBook folder from last time. So you can you these can be anywhere you want, but you need them on your computer because otherwise it's not gonna work. Because you have files inside this MacBook folder that explain to it how it works. So what you do is you say CD space, and then you drag the MacBook folder in wherever its location is, then you press enter, and then you write the same line of code that made it work last time, which is um Perl space smack dot pl now we have all the code written for this so we can um save it so press control x to exit it'll ask you if you want to save say y and then um and then write the name i'm i'm gonna write smackbook sometimes it'll remember sometimes it won't so just rewrite the name and then if it asks you to overwrite say yes oh yeah it, it won't let me it won't let me um, do this because I actually have another file on my desktop called SmackBook, which is our SmackBook folder. So I'll just um, say yes. Okay, it's going to ask me what I'll call it. I'll call this SmackBook app. You can put a space and name if you want. You don't have to. Okay, then you press enter. Okay, so now I have SmackBook app on my desktop. But basically, it's a text edit file. So if I open it, it basically it shows us all the code. So what you do is you type ch mod plus x space and then whatever you called it. So I'm gonna say smackbook app. Smack book app. So now if I press enter you'll see the icons replaced and now it's a terminal application instead. So I can just quit terminal now, and now all I have to do is to, to make the MacBook thing is work is launch Virtue Desktop. Say ignore as usual. Okay, Virtue Desktops is working, but the MacBook isn't. So I'm just double click on this application. It'll show terminal for one second, but then it'll quit it, and now it works. And you don't have terminal open, so this is really great. But the thing is, um, it's not going to be like this every single time. Because um, basically, until you reboot. So to make it fake to fix that problem, you say Open System Preferences. You go under your account. You go under Login Items, and then you drag in SmackBook. And you're gonna want to make this unchecked. If I mean checked, because if it's checked, that means it hides the application. And we're gonna hide this application because we do not want to see. Well, it, you don't have to, but basically. Remember when we had that little terminal window open for one second? If you want to see that, then don't check it. But if you don't want to see it, then check it. 
So, uh, yeah, um, so that's how you always do it without having terminal open. I hope this helped you for all of you guys that were asking. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Please subscribe and goodbye.